everybody knows about the controversy as to whether she was invited or if she just walked off the street, but of course she was invited. I think the dean's position was just ludicrous in that. A lot of this came out at the trial. I think she would have opened the door. All that screaming and breaking, the, kicking the door in just made the situation worse. Although I remember how sexually excited Evelyn got with the firemen. Boy, did she love firemen. Even I was sort of turned on to it, but of course I was chained. But uh, you take all of that stuff aside, it was the experience that turned me into the actor I am today. So uh, this is the uh, editing bay, as I like to call it. You haven't seen my chapstick, have you? Uh, chapstick? No. He's losing those. So uh, uh, we have all of our effects on board. You know, effect is just a way of uh, transitioning from one scene to another. We call it a wipe. Just various ways to get from one scene to the next. We have a, uh, a straight cut. Iris in, Iris out. Well, Sarah is different. She is very interested in what goes on here at the studio. And uh, I can see her staying around here for a long time. Um, it would be nice to have somebody to um, help me out here at the studio. What is this one here, Tom? Oh. It's a um, Valentine's Day surprise. That is a heart-shaped wipe, which I only use on Valentine's Day because it's very corny. My last boyfriend, Ahmed, he broke up with me on Valentine's Day. That really sucks. Yeah, I got him a box of chocolates, and he threw me out of a moving car. Really? Yeah, and I really like chocolates, too. Ahmed was the manager of an AT&T store in Plainwell. You know, on Highway 4. Oh, yeah. I actually think maybe he sold drugs, too, because he always had a lot of money. Actually, the car that he threw me out of was a BMW. Huh. I know, it's, it's pretty impressive. You, um, you still live with your parents, don't you? Oh, no. No, we have apartments in the same building. Like in an apartment building? No, it's, uh, it's a house. It's their house, and uh, they have the upstairs apartment. I have the uh, basement special apartment. So you live with your parents? Depends on how you look at it. The guys I date? Disasters. Really. <laughs> I mean, if, if I walked into a room and it was a bunch of Harvard MBAs that were all like sweet and intelligent, considerate, kind and successful. And, and then there was the one guy wearing a black t-shirt in the corner that was like shaving off his fingernails with a razor blade. Guess who I'm running to? It's like a sidewalk. Well, a sidewalk is just, it's boring, right? Well, now a cracked sidewalk. It's a work of art. Lenny? Colin. I want to apologize for being sick and not doing Robert's interview. Yeah, that's okay. I also want to apologize. I used four paper towels in the kitchen to clean up after myself. I spilled some coffee. That's okay. No. No, two would have done the job, but I used... I used four. And that was wasteful and foolish. I also want to apologize for spilling the coffee that caused the mess. I was careless. I was desperate. Colin, you spilled a cup of coffee. It's not a big deal. Will you punish me? No, I don't want to. Will you think about punishing me? No. Some, some suitable form of punishment. 
I, I don't even want to think about punishing you. Just a little? No, I don't want to punish you. Here, take something away here. Take this away from me and tell me, you can't have this back again until you learn to be more careful. Colin, I am not punishing you. Punish not me, punish me. No. Here. Now you cannot have this back until you learn to be just a little bit more careful and a little bit more considerate. Do you understand me? Yes. Yes, you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll try to be better. What did his mother do to him? A cracked sidewalk. Is there a strategy you use that gives you a competitive advantage? Well, I basically just try to put my cock where they can't hit it. <laughs>